y'all, this is Jacqueline, and recently I picked up the latest issue of Cosmo. This is the March issue of Cosmopolitan Magazine, the one with Gwen Stefani on the front, and I picked it up because I have been snowed in. Um, we got a huge snowstorm, and I've been snowed in for three or four days. It's pretty much been on and off for a week. Um, so when I went to stock up at the grocery store on lots of yummy bananas and fruit and lots of other vegan foods to accommodate me while I was stuck in the house for days on end, I decided to pick up a couple of magazines just because I knew that I would get bored and wanted something to do besides, you know, just watch TV or play on the computer, watch YouTube videos. Um, so I picked up the latest issue of Cosmo. Now, I used to be an avid reader of Cosmo, uh, but then I turned 18 and graduated from high school. And um, pretty much since then, since I've grown out of my adolescence, I have very rarely picked up a Cosmo. Here and there sometimes, much like in instances like this, um, sometimes I'll get them for plane rides, vacation, something to read by the pool, just something amusing that I take lighthearted to give me something to entertain myself with for, you know, an hour or so. Um, so while reading this issue of Cosmo, I came across this article, Should You Be Drinking Milk? And it was incredibly interesting to me. I was very shocked that Cosmo had any substance at all, um, that they would be saying, you know, giving tips on anything besides, you know, what heels to wear with what lipstick. Part of this article really pissed me off. Um, part of it is incredibly true. And I just wanted to kind of share this with you in case you didn't, if you're not a Cosmo reader, you didn't see this article. Um, I wanted to share it with you guys out there so you can understand um, what's going on and get some facts that I know about the milk and dairy industry. It frustrates me because I know that there are women out there who may, and especially young girls like I was and that's Cosmo's main readership young girls who are going to get this information and they're not going to understand the full circle of this issue and they may take Cosmo's word as God. So the article starts out that milk may not deserve its sterling reputation because people who drink milk aren't always healthier than people who don't. The evidence, this is a quote, the evidence and data for all of milk's benefits are just not there. That is a quote from Walter Willett, PhD, chair of the Department of Nutrition at Harvard. Okay, so that's someone I would probably trust pretty well, as long as they don't have ties to the meat and dairy industry, um, which is obvious in this article that either Cosmo does or some ads or something like that, um, that they are trying to glaze over these issues with milk. Um, let's see. They go on to say that cow's milk is full of hormones that helps calves grow. Well, no shit. It's breast milk, okay? <laughs> Why is this so hard for people to understand? Like you are drinking the breast milk of a bovine. It also goes on to say that um, the hormones, IGF-1, um, which induces cells to multiply, potentially a bad thing considering that excessive cell multiplication is the hallmark of cancer and that women who drink more than two glasses a day are twice as likely to be diagnosed with ovarian cancer than women who rarely drink milk. So basically they say stick to skim milk. It's a good option unless you're a kid because kids are okay. They have different requirements for growth. So don't worry about giving cow breast milk to your child. Just you should stick to skim milk. Just water it down a little bit. Okay, so, so let me get this straight. What you're saying is I can do heroin as long as I only do a little bit. Okay, I can smoke as long as I only smoke a little bit. Okay, all right, I get it. That's very liberating. That is so good to know. Good to know because I've been dying to do some more heroin. There's some non-cow's milk options below. Okay, great, giving us some non-dairy alternatives. All right, their list of alternative milks, they listed four. Uh, the first one is almond milk. The second one is camel milk. I had to look at it twice because my mind wanted to say caramel or cashew or something. Like, there's no way that they listed another, another mammal's breast milk in here for alternative milks. Are you freaking cow? Okay, so we're gonna go for a camel and drink something that's even bigger than a cow? At least, yeah, I mean, they're bigger, I would say. 
and let's feed that to our children. This trendy option is ten, has 10 times more iron and three times more vitamin C. It's a freaking camel. Are you serious? Like, I just don't understand why we think it's okay. Why we even want to drink the breast milk of another animal. Like, that's just weird to me. So I do have to commend them along with giving us a camel milk option. Look, where, where do you even find camel milk? Are you serious? Like, I'm going to go fly to Abu Dhabi real quick. I need some uh, milk on my Cheerios. Um, I mean, I, I shop at like, you know, Whole Foods on occasion and like Central Market and kind of more specialty stores like that. Never once have I seen camel milk. I've seen goat milk. That's probably as far as I've gone. Anyway, so the other three options are almond milk, soy milk, and rice milk. Um, but it's just obvious, they, you know, they explicitly say, you know, whoa, whoa, wait, the, uh, it's, it's potential. All of this research is just uh, preliminary. Nothing's definitive. It's like, come on. I mean, the research is there. Like, why would you even take the risk? I guess I should be happy that a magazine like Cosmo and, you know, popular fashion magazines are at least touching on the subject, even if it's in just this minuscule, microscopic way. I guess I should be happy um, that maybe it might encourage some people to at least cut back on it. Um, you know, they also say, you know, we don't know that there's any link between, you know, the dairy and the milk and any other dairy products. It's like, well, what is the other dairy products being made from? What's your cheese being made from? What's your sour cream being made from? What's your whipped cream being made from? I mean, come on, like, it's coming from the dairy cows. It's coming from the same milk that you're drinking, putting it in your glass and on your Cheerios. So, you know, I just, I don't know. I guess it shouldn't piss me off. I guess I should not expect that much from Cosmo. I would have been happier if there would have been nothing in there, to be honest with you, than this like half-hearted attempt to kind of, sort of get a little bit of information out there when it's very obvious that they have some sort of, you know, advertising deal or some sort of being backed by the meat and dairy industry. There has to be. Um, there's no reason why they wouldn't, they, they would try to write this article but still glaze over the truth and still try to put this positive spin on it. Look at the meat and dairy industry. Look at the dairies really think about what milk is and where it's coming from and see if that's something you want to continue drinking. Um, I gave milk up long, long time ago, probably more than five years ago. Actually, it's probably been like seven years ago, maybe more than that, um, just because it didn't agree with me. And uh, I am so glad I gave it up. I have been so much healthier ever since, and um, I will never go back. Now, especially that I have cut out all dairy, I just, I am the most vibrant, the most healthy. My skin is clearer. Um, my body's in better shape. I have more energy. I just, I'm so much happier than I have ever been and more satisfied with my appearance and with the way my body functions on the inside. Let me know what y'all think in the comments below. You know, I'm not trying to rag on Cosmo, I'm not. Just because it's not something that I still enjoy like I used to doesn't mean other people don't. Um, you know, I just find it a little basic, to be honest with you. Um, feel free, you know, to hate me for that. But, you know, everyone has their opinions. Um, so give me a like if you did like the content of this video. Subscribe if you haven't already. Thank y'all so much for taking the time to watch today. Remember that you are already famous in your hometown, and that's all that matters. See y'all in the next video. Bye, y'all.